The KMA-29A Bluetooth-enabled audio control panel is used to control various aspects of the aircraft audio system. Using the audio control panel, you can choose how you broadcast and receive radio transmissions. Lights on the audio control panel indicate when a selection is active. The speaker PA button controls the cockpit speaker and passenger address system. The switch is a two-part rocker switch. Pushing the right side moves the selection to the right, and pushing it on the left side moves the selection to the left. Selecting on broadcasts audio over the cockpit speaker. Selecting PA allows the pilot to broadcast over the cabin PA system. Hey folks, uh, from the cockpit, welcome aboard. Transmitting and receiving over comm radios is done using the microphone selector buttons and audio control buttons. To transmit on a radio, select the desired comm radio. When you select a comm radio to transmit on, the corresponding audio button is automatically selected so you can hear any responses. To monitor a radio, push the associated audio control button. You can monitor multiple frequencies at one time, but can only transmit on one. The Head Related Transfer Function, or HRTF button, allows the pilot to listen to two COM frequencies using Intella Audio technology. Intella Audio places COM1 and COM2 audio in various positions with a stereo headset, making simultaneous incoming radio signals sound as if they are coming from different locations. This greatly improves a pilot's ability to distinguish between simultaneous audio transmissions from multiple frequencies and is a valuable aid during single pilot operations. Volume is controlled with a master volume control knob. Rotate the inner knob to control volume to the pilot headsets or the cockpit speaker. The outer knob controls the volume of the cabin intercom system. This only controls the volume of any transmissions over the PA system and not any selected audio, music input, or passenger volume levels. These audio control buttons allow monitoring of any audio transmitted over the associated NAV, ADF, or DME frequencies. Pushing the AUX button allows the pilot to monitor audio from the onboard entertainment system when one is installed. If more than one entertainment system is installed, this button only provides audio from the first system. The ICS button toggles between different states of the intercom system. When ISO is selected, the pilot is isolated from the intercom and is connected only to the aircraft radio system. In this case, the co-pilot and passengers can hear each other but will not hear aircraft radio receptions or pilot transmissions. When all is selected, the pilot, co-pilot, and passengers hear both the aircraft radio and the intercom. When crew is selected, the pilot and co-pilot are connected on one intercom channel and have exclusive access to the aircraft radios. The Bluetooth function can be turned on or off by pushing and holding the Bluetooth mute button for 5 seconds. Only one device can be paired to each audio control panel at any time. To connect a Bluetooth device for the first time, push and hold the Bluetooth button for 5 seconds. When the light starts flashing, open the Bluetooth connection page on your device and search for KMA29A. When connecting for the first time, you'll be asked for a PIN. The default PIN is four zeros. Tap on Pair and you'll be connected. When a phone is connected via Bluetooth, phone calls can be answered by pushing the Telephone button. When a phone call is active and the Telephone Transmit button is pushed, use the Push to Talk button to speak to the person on the other line. Pushing this button again ends the phone call. When a Bluetooth connection, like a phone call, is active, pushing the Bluetooth mute button cycles through the mute options, such as mute on, mute off, and radio mute. For more information on Bluetooth functionality, refer to the pilot's guide. 
The KMA-29A automatically saves the last eight radio transmissions up to 45 seconds of total audio. To hear a recording of the most recent radio transmission, push the play button. Each additional push of the play button will play an earlier transmission. Conversely, to hear a more recent transmission, push the back button. The audio playback will pause automatically if any comm radio receives a transmission. The playback will resume after the transmission. The marker beacon button allows the pilot to monitor a marker beacon. Pushing the button once turns the receiver on and selects the high sensitivity. High permits the pilot to hear the outer marker approximately one mile from the beacon and low provides a more accurate location of the marker. Many pilots choose to leave the receiver in the low sensitivity position when it's being used for approach markers. Pushing it a third time turns the receiver off. The marker beacon audio can be muted for 60 seconds by pushing the marker mute button. Pushing the mute test button also activates the marker beacon test function which tests the visual inner marker indication on the PFD.